Good day, Grade Elements. Welcome to the next lesson in measurements. In this lesson, we're going to again be revising something you learned about in Grade 10, and that is multiplying by a factor of k. And what we're going to be doing is looking at what happens when we multiply either one side, two sides, or all three sides by a factor of k. So let's start off with multiplying one side of a prism by a factor of k. So the first thing we need to do is know our general formula for volume. So the general formula for volume of a prism, as we know, is the area of the base times the area of a height. So that is going to be length times breadth times height. So if I had to give these values, so I'm going to do that to help us find out how this affected in numerically, I'm going to get let L equal 1, B equal 1, and then H equals 1. Therefore, the volume is going to be 1 times 1 times 1, which in this case is going to be 1, and I'm going to let my unit be meters, so therefore the volume is going to be 1 meter cubed. If I now multiply one side by a factor of 5, then do you agree the equation becomes length times breadth times 5h. So we assume it becomes 5lbh. Pretty easy, right? So let's see what that looks like in numbers. The example would be the volume is equal to 1 times 1 times 5, which is going to therefore be, because 5 times 1 is 5, so it becomes 5 cubic meters. So you see that the fact of k has made it k cubic meters bigger. Okay, so this would be the same as saying k lbh if this was a k. Let's look at our surface area. The surface area of a rectangular prism is going to be, remember that there are two front sides, two two side sides, and then there is a top and a bottom. So there's a front and a bank, a left and a right, and a top and a bottom. So we've got two times my length times my breadth, my length times my breadth, plus two times my breadth times my height, which is breadth times height, plus two times my height times my length. Okay, my height times my length, my height times my length. And that's how it's going to look. It's going to look like 2LB plus 2 times B times H plus 2 times HL. And in this case, we've let everything be 1. So it's going to be 2 times 1 times 1 plus 2 times 1 times 1 plus 2 times 1 times 1, which becomes 2 plus 2 plus 2, which is just 6 square meters. Because remember, surface area is in meters squared or units squared. Now, this time, we're taking our factor of k into consideration. So this time, the h has changed to 5h. So we've got 2 times lb plus 2 times b times 5h plus 2 times 5h times L, which is going to be, if we put this in numbers, is going to be 2 times 1 times 1, plus 2 times 1 times 5 times 1, because remember we let h equal 1, plus, where's my little arrow gone, there it is, plus 2 times 5 times 1 times 1 which then becomes 2 plus 2 plus 5, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 times 5 is 10, which is therefore 22 meters squared. So you'll see that it's increased the surface area considerably. Okay, let's look at if we now multiply two sides by a factor of k. So in this case, we've got again the volume of this is LBH, which is going to be 1 cubic meter if I let everything equal 1 and I'm doing that again just so we can get to grips with it whereas yeah the volume is going to be 5L times B times 5H which becomes 25 times LBH which is equal to 25 cubic meters. But if we thought of this 5 as k's, because it's a multiple of k, a multiple of k, then do you see that that would be the same as saying 5 squared times the original volume, 
or k squared times the original volume. So this time, if we're multiplying two of the sides by a factor of k, we end up having a volume which is k squared times the original volume. Okay, let's look at the surface area. Again, the total surface area is going to be 2 times LB plus 2 times BH plus 2 times HL, which in this case happens to be 6 square meters. Let's look at the surface area now. Now, wherever we have an L, we now have a 5L. Wherever we have an H, we have 5H, and B stays the same. So therefore, our total surface area is going to be 2 times... 5L times B plus 2 times, it's B and H, so it's B times 5H plus 2 times, this time it's HL, so it's going to be 5H times 5L, which becomes 10LB plus 10BH plus 5 times 5 is 25, 50, 50 H L, which because all of these are just ones becomes 10 plus 10 plus 50 which is 70 square meters 70 square meters so again considerably bigger let's look at what happens if we multiply all three sides by a factor of k so again your volume is going to be the original volume is lbh lbh and if we let every one of these just be one meter like we did in every one of these other examples this becomes one cubic meter now the volume is going to be 5l times 5b times 5h so what do you predict let's see what we get so we've got 5l times 5b times 5h which becomes 125 times LBH, but L and B and H are each one, so it becomes 125 cubic meters. But again, I want you to notice that we're going, if we had to just do this as a factor of K, this would be written as 5 cubed times LBH, which could be written as K cubed times LBH. So the most important thing with a volume is that if we're multiplying one side by a factor of k, then the new volume is just that k times. If we're multiplying two sides by a factor of k, then it's k squared times the original volume. And if we're multiplying all three, then it's k cubed times the original volume. Let's look at our surface area. The surface area again is going to be 2 times LB plus 2 times BH plus 2 times HL, which again is just 6 square meters. But let's have a look at this. This time we've got 2 times 5L times 5B plus 2 times 5B plus times 5H plus 2 times 5H plus 5L, which becomes 5 times 5 is 25 times 2 is 50LB, plus 5 times 5 is 25 times by 2 is 50, 50BH, plus 5 times 5 is again 50HL, and since these are all ones, it becomes 150 square meters. So you can see there's no direct relationship between the surface areas when we increase the sizes by a certain factor. But with the volume, there is a definite relationship that we can work out. And that grade 11s is multiplying sides by factors of K and how they affect the volume and the total surface area of a prism. Have a lovely day.